Yeah, sometimes people stereotype me, but I like to just say, you know what? I'm gonna try it anyway. If it doesn't work out, we'll learn from it. Through the course of a year, I will play about 80 to 100 baseball games. I'll umpire just as many. I've always been a pretty active, adventurous type of person. I grew up in a decent sized city, but we found mountains. We went hiking. Nature was important to us. I choose to be active. I choose to be optimistic. I choose to fight through the challenges when they come, and I choose to have fun. People are always shocked when they find out I'm type 1 diabetic. I never say anything. They ask questions like, how can you do all this stuff? Like, doesn't your blood sugar get in the way? It's a pretty well-known illness, but nobody really understood the complexities of managing it and what it's like to live with it. You can't be lifting weights. You can't be racing cars. You're just too fragile to do anything. The bottom line is, diabetes owns you. It does what it wants when it wants to do it. And you have control over some of that, maybe most of it, but not all of it. There's this really inaccurate stereotype that it's overweight people who haven't taken care of themselves, and that's just not true. When I was diagnosed, I was 20 pounds underweight, and I just didn't fit any of the boxes that diabetic people fit into, as far as I knew. I never wanted to have it be a detriment to whatever I wanted to do up until I stopped being able to feel my low blood sugars. I woke up at three in the morning, like convulsively shaking and drenched in sweat. I couldn't talk, so I couldn't wake my husband up for help. I started crying because I was convinced I was going to die. That's where we started to entertain the idea that having a dog who could be with me anywhere and caught just one low is worth you know, everything that went into the hard work of having him. Dogs for Diabetics is an amazing program that dedicates their time, resource, and energy to training dogs to help smell the change in our blood sugars. It was incredible the first time she alerted on me. All of a sudden she looked at me and she just grabbed. You can't help but start screaming because you're so excited knowing that she's out there looking after you. Having him with me gives me a freedom to pursue activities with a level of confidence that I wouldn't have otherwise. I can operate with my best friend in a safety net at all times. I don't live in fear anymore. It was Izumi and Dogs for Diabetics that helped me smash that barrier down to pieces. It's a reassurance not only to myself, but to my family, that I've got someone alone who has my back. D4D has changed more lives than they will ever possibly know. Living beyond really is just living and not being controlled by the fear. I'm more than a type one diabetic. I am capable. I am strong. I am fearless. How do you live beyond? Share your adventures and how you live fearlessly by using hashtag beyond diabetes. And let people know what your story is.